So with the former president prepared to turn himself in on Tuesday, it's the first time Alvin Bragg and the left will have ever appeared to actually care about law and order. Millions of Americans have been waiting for this day for years. I can't even think of an artifact, uh, a, a mugshot that's going to be circulating around the world in the kind of way that uh, this one of Donald Trump is. You will reap what you sow. This is good news for everybody. The judge that, that uh, presided over that case where the Trump family was found guilty yeah. is the same judge presiding over Donald Trump's 30 counts. They are so excited. I want to bring in former New York Congressman Lee Zeldin and New York Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Um, Lee Zeldin, I want to go to you first. What do you make of all the glee amongst all the pundits and, and Democrats, people that say they don't want the criminal justice system to be politicized? Also, they're big reformers. Last time I checked, even if this was true, this is a nonviolent offense. So wh wh where is all the, the purest uh, in the Democratic Party? I see Alvin Bragg in each of those people, in each of those clips that you just played. Alvin Bragg, before he was even sworn into office, he was saying that he was going to be personally supervising this prosecution, this investigation of Donald Trump. He didn't even know what the charges were. He didn't know what the facts were going to be. All he cared about was taking down President Trump. And these people in the media, they don't need to wait to see what an indictment says. They don't care about the great legal analysis that you just heard from Greg Jarrett mm -hmm. with statutes of limitation. Ask them what they think about the fact that, I, by the way, I don't know if any county district attorney anywhere in the state of New York has ever charged a federal campaign finance violation. These people don't care. No, they don't. But unfortunately for them, a lot of independent-minded Americans see right through it. This is a political prosecution. Congresswoman, uh, I, I did a monologue laying out his connection to George Soros. Now George Soros is saying, I don't even know him. I never gave any money to him, but Color for Change. They gave $1 million to him. Uh, the number one contributor to Color for Change uh, is George Soros. He gave $3.9 million to him. And then his son gave $10,000 to Alvin Bragg, and his son's wife gave $10,000. So I'm not buying that there's no Soros connection to this DA, are you? It, it's absurd. I mean, look at most of these people. George Soros doesn't know most of the people he's funding. You spent, he started going around the country funding mm -hmm. district attorneys just so he could get people like Alvin Bragg in office who would misrepresent our law, would be involved in malicious prosecution, which is exactly what he's done with President Trump, what he did to Jose Alba, remember the bodega owner? Right. He was maliciously prosecuted and uh, unfairly when he was self and, and acting in self-defense. And so th th that's just nonsense. I mean, look at, we've got uh, a justice system that needs to be preserved. And Lee Zeldin actually ran for governor and said his first act would have been to actually fire Alvin Bragg, which the governor has the power to do. And Kathy Hochul has the power to do that. And she's busy trying to negotiate a late budget, by the way, the New York State Legislature once again didn't get their budget in on time. But one of the big issues, because Lee Zeldin raised this uh, issue, was the problem of crime. And it's not That's just right. New York City. It is the whole state, because this is Albany talking, and they are fighting over the bail reform laws, the raise the age laws, the laws that Lee Zeldin talked about as he traveled the state running for governor, realizing that that crime is everywhere. My district has a lot of crime. We've never seen the kind of crime we have. Rochester, New York, which is right outside my district, has among the highest crime rates in the Northeast. This is happening all over New York, and it's directly the result of leftist Albany Democrats, leftists like Alvin Bragg, who remain in office. We can solve a lot of problems and save a lot of people in New York if we could put somebody uh, decent in that DA's office. Well, yeah, they, they don't understand that it, when, when they make these policies, it spreads. I mean, the criminals move, they go and they take over one territory. When they're done, they go to the next. Uh, but they don't care about the consequences. They don't even care about justice. Only when they're targeting their political opponents. And, and, it's, and it's very shameful. Uh, Congresswoman, Congressman, thanks so much for joining the program. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.